What's up guys, Neon Tesla Fun Six Six and today we're gonna be reacting to Well, Michael Reeves, your robot I just are stupid. Do be aware that this has a uh, cussing, so I'm gonna try my best to bleep the cussing. So let's go. You guys really have a lot of suggestions for machines and robots I should build, and that's super cool. Except they all are fucking terrible. <laughs> You know, I've never done wow. a user-suggested robot, and I thought you guys would get the hint. You know, a little, a little subtlety to it, but you guys keep pumping them out one after the other. Shitty ideas in my goddamn comment section. Let's see. Ooh, make a robot that shoots chicken nuggets. That's very interesting. Let me just save that. Oh. Oh, I dragged it into the trash can. Oopsie doopsie. You should make oh, a robot that it. jerks you off. <laughs> can you think of how funny that would be? You what make me angry. You should build a robot that just jiggles a mouse back and forth so my computer doesn't go to sleep. That's actually kind of good. A Roomba that swears and screams when it bumps into things. I like that yeah, a lot. I, like that. I would like Whenever that. Whenever you turn on your car, it says, Hello, woo. Okay. Yeah. Look, I'm no stranger to bad ideas. I've made literally every single video on my channel, but these ideas, they're, they're turbo shit. But I'm not gonna say any of this without backing it up, all right? I'm gonna actually build some of your ideas to show you, not in a mean way, not in a bullying kind of way, or an angry kind of way, that your ideas are bad and you're wrong. And I'm gonna bully you. All right, let's start it okay. off with this, a workbench where every 10 minutes, Oh. It knocks off everything you're working on to the floor. It's not great. It's not. Gr it's not. It's you know. Fuck it. Fuck it. Let's do it. I'm just 3D print some parts. I don't give a fuck. We got this part. We got this part. We got the two parts together. Would like to Eat my brown ass, Will. Get all of that. Goddamn touch screen. We're not gonna watch a print. It's gonna take like five hours. Here's your idea, fully assembled. We got electronics, no one cares. We got microcontroller, no one gives a shit. Here's that 3D printed part that we just made. Yay! It's holding the motor assembly in place. The motor assembly is gonna spin this pneumatic cylinder that can extend. I know that's not part of the request, but I just wanted to add it in to make it a little more cool, right? So I show that I'm giving maximum effort so that when this is eventually terrible and doesn't work very well, uh, it's not because I'm not trying. It's because it's a stupid idea. Let's Let's see what this user suggested robot looks like in action. I'm just gonna tighten the screws on this thing until something happens. Oh gee, oh no, oh whoa, oh no, oh! Who could have seen this coming? Whoa! What an interesting and thought-provoking idea! Thank you very much for your suggestion! Oh, it's gonna break. It wasn't all bad. It had some interesting elements to it. You know, you had coding, you had electronics, I got to use pneumatics, I got to 3D print some parts. Shit idea, zero out of ten. We're just gonna keep going until my brain hemorrhages. You should make a hot glue gun that actually shoots hot glue. Ding, wow. ding, ding! It's the discarded afterbirth of a shitty idea. I, you know, I would like to see that a lot. A hot glue gun that Add to shit on glue. Please tell me it actually How works. thick and viscous hot glue is, and oh, it's I a have, liquid. I, it like it sinks I to the bottom do. of a pressure chamber. It's so it's like it's impossible, and it needs. <laughs> this video is bad for my health. This thing looks cool. It sucks ass. It doesn't shoot hot glue anyway. anywhere. It just dribbles out the end, even under 65 psi of constant pressure, because hot glue is thick. thick. But you asked for it, so I built it. The base of this thing is just a normal CO2 BB gun that I uh, appropriated okay. from wood. William Osmond. Oh, I'm pumping it with 60 psi, 70 psi, what 80. Was that? Created from William Osmond. Is that a freaking? Is that a homemade drone? Oh, that's I'm amazing. pumping it with 60 psi, 70 psi, 80 psi, really whatever I'm feeling amount of psi. So then the pressure feeds into this industrial grade hot glue gun heating element, which is where you load in your hot glue. Finally, we have this 3D printed support structure, which fixes the pressure chamber. Chamber. <laughs> I'm having a stroke! The result of all of this effort is so goddamn boring, you would not fucking believe it! I just want you to know that when all of this is said and done, I didn't post those comments. 
this is your fault. All right, we're all set up. I got this popsicle stick house that I also stole from Will, but it's looking a little broken from when I broke it 30 seconds ago. So let's do some advanced arts and crafts with our hot glue gun that actually shoots hot glue. I think this part would go here. Wait, is that a bad word? Are we for my, my that camera actually glue shoots us. hot glue. I think this part oh, would go shoots. here. <laughs> oh, very nice. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's so stupid. This it's so stupid. It's funny. I think you're due for a little more hot glue up, up there. Uh yeah, yeah, yeah. Thinking a little bit more on the supporting beam. Uh if I could just get that there. Yes, very nice. Yeah, get that on there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is yes. fucking stupid. It's stupid. <laughs> it's not my fault. I, I didn't leave the comment. Why is it doing it like that? This is your fault. Give me one. Give me just one, one Give decent idea, idea that's not terrible for a robot. Oh. <laughs> Jerry Smith. You should build a robot that dumps water on itself, okay? I hate every single one of you. Now we gotta do the measurements and 3D modeling for absolutely every single part of this goddamn robot. Now I, after five hours, it's printed out and I'm assembling it all together except I fucked with the gearbox and now the motor's really messed up. Hey, Michael, fuck you too. Now the wiring, it's only taking five volts so it's not actually that hard. And then there's the coating which detects a button press and then dumps the goddamn water. Fuck this whole thing. Hope you caught all that. We got everything set up. I'm just gonna put the glass of water on the robot and we're gonna trigger things with this. I made it out of a cinnamon toast crunch box and some electronics. So if you turn the key, it arms the thing, and I hope you guys are ready to see some sparks. Wait, won't it? Oh wait, what? there weren't any sparks. Oh yeah, I read about this once. Like you need, like in order for that to happen, it's like a lot of electricity. Because it only so runs on like, five volts, and that's not like a lot of electricity, like so. Of electricity, it's not gonna do it. The only thing that happens is um, it fries all the electronics on board, so. These guys, I can't use uh, yeah. any of this anymore, especially this microcontroller here. So that's cool, just gonna throw it in the trash. I really appreciate the idea, aside from the fact that it was terrible and makes me wanna die. Thanks for watching uh, my suffering. If there's any good thing to take from this, it's that now I know absolutely for sure that none of you will leave a robot idea in my comments ever again. Alrighty boys, thank you for watching this YouTube video. Hope you like it. And if you do, please, Please like and subscribe and I'll talk to you all a different day.